from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Meteorologist Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a bit. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We start in Tarpon Springs, where officers believe they had no choice but to shoot a man. Just before 9.30 last night, witnesses reported that man pointing a rifle at passing cars. When officers showed up, they say the man pointed the rifle at them and they shot at him several times. He died at the hospital. Former President Bill Clinton is out of the hospital. He was admitted to a California hospital a few days ago for a urinary tract infection, and the infection spread to his bloodstream. Cameras caught him walking out, flashing a thumbs up to reporters when one asked him how he felt. His doctor said he was treated in an intensive care unit for privacy and safety, not because he needed to be there. Well, a way to celebrate Hispanic heritage and culture will be a new monthly event in Clearwater. The Clearwater Hispanic Farmers Market made its debut this weekend. People can find vendors selling several items like wood carvings, jewelry, and locally grown produce. You'll also be treated to performances by kids celebrating Hispanic culture through dance, singing, and storytelling. The Latin uh, food, uh, the Latin music, it's, it's all about intercultural, you know, uh, relationships and bonding together. So it's not only about Hispanics, it's about, you know, celebrating people, celebrating, you know, our, um, our cultures together and encouraging each other to, well, um, come together. The market is at 710 Court Street and will open every third weekend of the month. Festivities start at 9 a.m. Let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams. Some of the coolest temperatures in the last four to five months arrive tomorrow morning. We'll be into the 50s and 60s area wide. Nobody above 70 degrees. St. Pete, we're going to be close to that because, of course, we're surrounded by 85 degree waters. However, these 60s and 50s are going to be accompanied by extremely low humidity. So it's going to be a really pleasant no matter whether you're at 54 in Crystal River or 69 in St. Pete. It's going to be a nice start to the day in the afternoon looks just as nice as what we had Sunday afternoon. Highs into the mid 80s, a few upper 80s south of I-4, low 80s to the north, but that humidity is staying low all the way through Tuesday morning. Enjoy it because after Tuesday, we start to see temperatures and the humidity beginning to climb again.